so sexy, girl. All of this can be taken away. There we go, baby. Why did he cut my hair? Do not idolize me. I'm trying oysters again. Flip flop. What up, though? Oh my gosh. I took my hair down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah, I took my hair down, you know what I'm saying? And it was bittersweet because I am, I already finished editing this week's vlog and I was looking at it and I'm like, man, it looked so good from the hair salon. I didn't realize that the waves that she gave me, why is it so brown? The, oh, this is dirty. The waves that she gave me were so loose and beautiful. And then when I was curling it, the curls to me were just too tight. Whatever. Here's the hair. Here are my bundles. I clipped them. And I'm going to wash them. They don't smell terrible. They just, just, they just smell like hair. I'm going to wash these and then just let them sit for whenever I'm ready to do my hair again. Be it a ponytail. I would love to try a nice slick back. Obviously, silk press ponytail, right? Like when I do mine, it'll still be wavy. I want to try that out, but it has to be for a certain event, not because that's that's gonna last me. I don't know. Would it last a week? Because how would she do the base? Would she spray it? Would she gel it? Gel is well as water based, but then hairspray gets hard. I suppose that that type of style would last a few days, so it would have to be for a certain event that I'm going to. Anyway, I'll use that hair, of course, for for whenever. So. I'll wash it and just hang it hang it up somewhere. Girl, look at all this hair. Yo, my husband was helping me take down the hair. Next time I'm gonna schedule an appointment to get it taken down. She's just so busy. I gotta find other people as options. Because the takedown was annoying and I don't wanna have to deal with that. I'd rather have pace to wanna do it. My husband was helping me take it down, so that was a huge help, right? But tell me why the first little section he was doing for me, mind you, he's never done this a day in his life. The first little section he was doing for me, why did he cut my hair? Look at this hair. Cut my hair clean off. I was like, excuse me, look at, like, look at this hair. Why are you doing this to me? I was like, are you kidding? It was, it was in here somewhere, so you can't see it. But I'm just like, what in the world are you doing right now? So yeah, there's my hair. The front was, was straightened yesterday. And then obviously this is just blow dried from when she blow dried it. My hair is so big. It feels good. Oh, it feels good to have it out and to wash my hair. I did not grease my scalp at all or oil it or anything while I had the hair in. So my scalp was mad itchy. It was just so good to just get in there. So right now what I'm going to go do is I'm not going to shampoo because it's not filthy. Like it's not filthy. It just in some areas I have dandruff. So what it needs is hydration. I'm going to go co-wash my hair. I'm going to use an actual co-wash product, which is a little bit stripping, not just a conditioner. When I do a conditioner, it's more hydrating than it is stripping. The co-wash product, like the one I have, is from Taraji P. Henson. It is pretty stripping to me, okay, based on what I'm used to. I'm going to use that because it will strip it a little bit too, which I'm okay with, whatever. I'm curious to see how how this curls back the straightened part versus my hair and then i'm going to put a deep conditioner product in my hair maybe they can too one if i have but i also have other stuff so i'll try something new and put that in my hair put a hair cap on it and let it sit in my hair till tomorrow and then tomorrow i'll i'll style it i don't know what style i'm gonna do maybe i'll just put it all the way back into a bun we'll see how i'm feeling what i'm gonna be wearing and stuff and yeah, I'm so happy to have this out. I want to do my nails, but I also don't feel like it. Ooh, look at all these flakes. Uh-oh, wait. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop right now. Not the flakes. I want to do my nails to my toes. My hands are already done. I I bought gel. I told you that. I bought the gel light and some gel polishes. Beetle juice. Beetles something. Whatever Andrew Renee be using, I, I bought that. So I want to do my toes, but I have to take off the pol the gel polish that I have on that I have had on from that time that I got a pedicure, which was over a month ago. It lasts, man. I'm a gel. I'm I'm sold on gel right now. So I've had it on for over a month now. But I don't even want to do all that, man. I just want to relax. I've been editing and taking on my hair for such a long time that I'm just like, really something else again. So we'll see. First, let me set up with the hair, shower, and then I'll figure out what I'm doing.
let's talk about it. I feel good and I look good. I smell good too. We're on our way to lunch. Let's go. Babe, I'm leaving. Hey. Well, what are you guys about to do? <laughs> We're going to lunch. I look, yeah. I look nice. Yeah, you look beautiful. What's we'll it? Thank you. Some guys are going for lunch. Yeah, it's a nice fancy place in River Oaks. Okay. Alright. Nanta. Right. Right here we are seated. Put my bag down, baby. Okay, so you know you look good when you walk in a place and everybody looking at you, baby. I mean, I can't be mad at that. Okay, you know you've done something right. So she's getting us a tablecloth. I don't know why there isn't one on this table. Very strange, but here we are. People are looking. Okay, let me, I, will, I would get a full body right now, but it, like, people are looking and I can't, this is uncomfortable. I like to look and feel like a baby. It's a little bit like, um, can I put on some black sunglasses and just <laughs> disappear for a second? <laughs> Okay, all right, waiting on Carmen and this tablecloth that I don't even know is gonna come or not. We're in the shade, I don't know what's going on. Can you even see me? Hi, mm -hmm. there we go. There we go, baby. There we go. This is Magenta Mist from Fashion Fair. Okay, so is she now trying to bring this? She says she'll bring me a tablecloth. This is strange to not have one. Anna, should I just leave it alone? I made a reservation just to be safe, but we don't even need it here. I want to show you my outfit, but not in front of all these people. Like, no. It's not that packed, but I, would, I do not want to cause any kind of attention scene. I don't want anything to do with it, okay? This is the weird. Show you my shoes. Uh, so sexy girl okay let's talk about something right those of us who have thick thighs i find it such a challenge to be really sexy and ladylike and cross my legs in public i'm on a really short blazer dress and i want to cross my legs right which i have done a few times but because my legs are so thick the crossing it becomes mad uncomfortable after a while like what in the world and i don't want to be so like a man <laughs> I mean, I do have tomboy in me, but come on now. I do want to cross my legs for God's sake. So I don't really know when I'm... Oh my God, look at this humongous... Is that roach outside? I see a humongous roach in the window. And I don't know if it's in this building or if it's a reflection of outside. Bless the name of the Lord. No, it's in the building. That thing is humongous. Oh my goodness, thank God it's not outside because I can't deal with that. There's no way. It looks like a crab. That is, that's how big it is. I can't do it. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Girls. I want to show you the vibe, but I hope no one's looking at me. I be feeling. I be feeling so uncomfortable. Like, do people get annoyed if someone's vlogging around them? I don't know. I want to be respectful, but I also want to share what I'm doing. It just gets really weird. But I'm sitting at the way, the far corner, on purpose, just to be away from people. And I can see in the reflection, other folks. They're not paying attention. Here's the vibe. Oopsie. Here's the vibe, honey. You get it, okay? You get it. You get it. What is this girl? I don't know where she at. I look cute. I had to put a new wig on today because the other one needed some combing. I didn't comb it when I had hung it up when I last used it. And it needed, yeah, it needed some combing and I did not have the time. So thank God I had another another one of these on deck. That's why I always have to have reserves of my different hair pieces because no one has time to be standing here for 30 minutes combing out a wig. No ma'am. No ma'am. I just needed it to be fresh and new. And I never pack my lipstick with me because I don't have to. I don't wear shiny lip lipsticks like this, but I am right now because this one is really, really good, right? So I did pack it with me because if it gets messed up, hello, I want to look cute and I'm using my Fendi bucket. And hello, I need to fix it up. So it's the Magenta Mist by Fashion. I almost said Fashion, oh my God. Fashion Fair, honey, Fashion Fair. This, it gives me like my mom vibes, but it really is a beautiful color. They have some lovely new colors at Sephora. I love how 
It feels like a gloss, but it's not a gloss. It's a lipstick, which is very interesting. I don't know how they did it, but it is really, really, it's, it's fantastic. We are gonna have a cocktail. What up, girl? You look good. Beautiful. You look good, girl. Look, that's my butt cheek shine, girl. That's, that's the vibe, girl. That's the vibe. You look great. I haven't seen you in a minute. Oh my you, God. you look great. Really? Oh, it's obvious. Yeah. It is so obvious. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Oh. Okay, thank you. Really? No, it's very obvious. Yeah, I haven't seen you in so long. It's Girl. very clear to me. Oh my God, that's, I want that. Girl, thank you. Look at my lips going hanging out. Look at, look at me. You have to. What are we here for? No, I figured out what I was going Girl, when I saw you, your picture with Lois, and I said, wait, that's the place that's always in the middle? It's I said, really this is cute. fancy. It's, it's really nice. So, I thought you had came here. I've never been here before. I've just seen it. So it's I said, really, well, let Girl. me take it up a notch. It's really cute. On a good it's, holiday. It's for real. Girl. Listen, okay. we buy this stuff for what reasons? So I was like, well, I'm gonna wear it today, honey. Honey, honey. I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm, I'm here for the whole thing. Hello. <laughs> How are you? To catch up a I'm doing well. We can never catch up in that time. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be here all day this. catching up. <laughs> really I've had that happen. I've had that happen <laughs> plenty of times here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I know I want that. You on awesome one of our cocktails. I'm gonna do the Chanel number six cocktail. Very popular. That's a uh, must. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yes, please. On the way. Okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm trying oysters again. Let's see how this goes. But That's how so do well. I? What do I do? You just scrape it out. But do I still inhale it like that? Or you I can just, just take it and um, buy it? Okay. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Oh my god. Let me just slide this over here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Slide this over. Mm. So good. Oh, I see some bacon. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Am I supposed to, should I chew this? Mm -hmm. Just okay. eat it like you're eating something from a bowl. Okay. Mm. And I don't look at it. What oh the God. heck is that bubble? Oh my God. I shouldn't look at this, should I? What's that yes. bubble? What is this? The oyster. Bacon, spinach, and the oyster is this good. With a the little bit of parmesan, a little bit of parmesan cheese on it, girl. It's bomb. Girl, I don't like how this is looking. You don't like it? Mm -mm. Oh I, God, I, I you guys shouldn't look at it, girl. Don't let me look not, at see, it. That's why I shouldn't waste your food. Mm -mm, I can't do it. Mm. I can't lie to you. I don't know what that's looking like. What is that? Here, take your. Mm -mm. Let me not waste your food. Let's I can't do that. I, and I never I even like, showed y'all okay. Carmen. Not my greasy face. Hold on. Where's the sun at? <laughs> not them looking at us. <laughs> Hi YouTube. What do you call your uh, people? Girl, I don't know. This is? I don't know what I call them. The, what are we gonna call y'all? Oh, here's the sun. There we go. It's a lot better. And we're giving grown women like boss babes. We're giving it RBS. Yeah. <laughs> if you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on high and heat is. I'm on high and heat is. Today I have a meeting with Sephora Squad. It's a two-day squad event, which usually would be in person because of COVID. You know what I'm saying? We already know what it is, okay? It is online on Zoom, and I want to make sure my quality of video is really good because I do have a speaking portion. So I'm using my external webcam that I purchased last year. You know how everyone was at home and webcams and laptops were all hard to find. Well, I found this one on Amazon. I'll show you right now. 
I'm hooked up to my Zoom just to practice and see what stuff looks like. So this is what the video looks like right here. This is the webcam that I put onto a tripod. So I just screwed it onto the tripod. I'll link the tripod and the webcam. It shoots in 1080p. I was looking for a 4K one last year, but just could not find one. So this is what I have. The quality is really good because look at the webcam quality. The sun is in my face, so whatever. I like how it neutralizes my the whites in my background look at the camera if i were to use the computer camera facetime hd built in this is what it would look like first of all it's yellow i don't like my walls are like a light yellow i wish they weren't but they are so whatever and i it just doesn't look as good right and then when i switch the video to the fhd camera the new one it's more blue cool now i think i can fix that a little bit if i wanted to i just don't know how but it does allow you to see more of my background i'm gonna do my hair obviously it just looks a lot better if i wanted to take a different tripod i could to raise this up to show me more like this i could put books underneath this but i'm okay with it looking like that and then me looking here and then speaking to the camera we'll see i might put books there to change it but yeah. Yo, so I finished this candle and it was so good. Like really, really good. Like really, really good from Target. I'll link it below because it was so good. All right, I'm putting a new candle in the bathroom. I just love to burn candles. You know that already, right? So here are one of the minis from the Jackie Aya mini I don't know what's called. The You know, the mini collection, okay? Using my electric or rechargeable candle lighter. Hello. This thing is small but mighty. This stuff is very, very strong. Very, very, just very fragrant. So here's the bathroom candle for right now. Matcha business. I haven't ever tried it. Comment below and let me know if you've tried this, but I know that it's gonna be so good. Half of a product and say something about it, or indirectly, that we have to make sure that we follow the rules. Now, I'm gonna go through, again, at a very top line level, what the rules are. And again, I I'm on a Zoom I told you, right? The training for Sephora Squad is two days, and so this is the legal, the legal session is really good. Okay, so we get a DoorDash gift certificate to buy lunch, and I just ordered Smoothie King via DoorDash. I've never done that. I usually just go get it. And I got the pumpkin, because they have a low-carb pumpkin version of the drink, which I'm about to try. I added strawberries and blueberries to pumpkin. That might be disgusting. I don't know. I just didn't know if the, if the pumpkin by itself is going to be disgusting. We're going to find out. It's unique <laughs> because it has actual pumpkin in here. It's unique. I'm not getting pumpkin again. It's unique. Good ones in there. And take a moment now and jump on over to your next call. It's unique. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I didn't just get it by itself because I think by itself it would have been a milky nastiness. I don't know. I'm not gonna do that mix again. Our next launch partner, Mina, I would love to ask you, what makes you feel most connected to your audience? Vulnerability is obviously very important in our space, but how do you find your own niche to determine if your content was relatable to your own audience? Yeah, that's a good question. First, hey everybody. I, I for me, what I do online, is more than just posting cute pictures, you know, posting a good sleigh, a good bee, a good outfit. It's more than that for me. So first and foremost is sharing my life, sharing how I'm developing, how I'm growing, what I'm learning, what I'm doing. And then when I get that feedback from my audience, be it via DM or comment, where they say, you made me start therapy and it's been amazing. Or you've shown me how to do X, Y, Z and my life's been different ever since. Or you've taught me how to manage my time. Whatever it is, that's how I know what I'm doing is actually making a difference in someone's life. I'm not about just posting just to be cute, just to get fans, just to get notoriety. It's not all about that for me. It's about reaching other people and changing their lives for the better. So when I get that affirmation from a comment or a dm then i know that what i'm doing is actually fulfilling my purpose and that's how i know that i've reached my audience
spots for so long and I just never, this crumpus on my eye, I can't even do it. I have never put together a console table, although I've always wanted to, I just never got around to it. Anyway, I'm in the decor mood and I've been decorating, you know, the new white couch, all this stuff, right? So this area right here, I love how it looks so far but there's clearly still more work to be done. Oh, I wanna get two baskets to put under here. I found one, this is, don't worry about that. I found one from Target, but they only had one. So I didn't wanna get just one, I want two right now. So I will keep a lookout or I'll go look somewhere else to get the two baskets. And I just love this. This table's from Ashley's Furniture, I'll link it. The books are Amazon, I'll link it. This is Amazon, Target, Target, Target. I literally just came from picking these up. These three. The Pumpus is Amazon. The mirror we've had for a long time. I need to change that <laughs> frame out. But I love how this is looking right now. Comment and let me know. I know it's missing something. I want to put something inside there. I might want to flip flop just to balance out the color. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to flip flop these two. But yeah, I'm so excited with how this looks. It just looks warm and inviting, which makes me happy. I didn't feel like getting a new frame, a new mirror, because we already had this and I want to waste. But this would be nice with a gold or wooden natural type frame circle, a circle, you know, whatever. But this is cool for now. I like this so much. I'm excited. Making my home more warm and cozy, you know. Yo, good morning. I just got home from Home Goods. I, I went to Home Goods. I had to go to the bank and the post office. I. My hair's so itchy, I need to wash it. Yo, so I've been getting together my console area. I showed you, right? I have decided to make some changes. The mirror is rectangle, and so is the console. And the more research I do, I see that you want to have contrasting shapes. So I needed to get a circle mirror. So I found a circle mirror, and I'm going to put it up and just repurpose that other mirror, put it somewhere, I don't know, sell it, who knows what, because it just needs to contrast. It'll look a lot different. I saw a coffee table at Home Goods I want to get, and I wasn't sure about it, but now that I'm home, like I should have gotten it. They had three, so I can always go back and get it. I just, whatever, it's raining outside today. So let's put this together. Ooh, and let me light my candles. You know, candles are a must for me. I am burning matcha business in the bathroom and I can't even explain to you how good it smells. Matcha business smells divine. If you've never tried Forever Mood, I mean, I love matcha to drink and I love it. I love it now in the candle. I've never had a candle that smelled like matcha. This is fantastic. This little small thing had the whole house. God almighty, it smells like milk, like milk. Oh, in the best of ways, the best of ways. Oh my goodness, Jackie outdid herself with this baby. To turn the light off, it just looks so bomb in here, you know? And then let me light the candle that's over here in the entryway. This lighting is weird. This candle right here, let me put you next to the mirror, next to the, excuse me, the lamp. Uh-huh, there we go. I ordered more pumpus and it should be here, I don't know, Monday, I guess. Sodom, wowzers. Sodom, oh my God, like I just, it went around my, my nose. Sodom, girl, the minute you open it, you can just open these candles and not even burn them and they are that fantastic. You are still going to walk by and be like, oh, what is that? So, so good. Oh my goodness. I was burning it earlier this morning. God almighty. Ah, I can't even lie to you. Like as I was trying to wake up this morning, I was sleepy. I'm not even lying. I was telling myself, what are some reasons to get up? What, what do I have to look forward to? Of course, getting up, working out, starting my day, feeling awake and feeling whatever. And then I was like, I'm gonna set my, I'm gonna light my candles. It's gonna smell so good. Because I know that when I light my candles, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel happy. I love for the house to smell good everywhere. And it's not too far. This console is not too far from the bathroom. So they can't, the can't, the scents do blend, but they smell amazing along with the blend. Just absolutely divine. So here we go. Lighting this right now, man. I, I had a nest candle. Here's the little area. I had a nest candle burning in the living room, the kitchen, excuse me, but I don't even need that. Like, it's almost a waste. This thing is strong, okay, in the best 
of ways, in the absolute best of ways. This does look a lot better. Granted, I'm waiting my pump us to fill this up some more. I'm gonna put some more things here and I'm gonna get baskets, but this does look a lot better with the circle mirror. I thought about leaning it up on the wall, but no, I like it. The circle is better. I'm gonna clean it, get that sticker off, which annoys me, and then I'm gonna repair those holes eventually. I'll figure that out. But this looks cute so far. I'm so excited. <laughs> on my car and then I have a wax appointment. I had to squeeze myself in this two-piece set. It's a large, they don't have XL. It's really cute. It's mostly nylon. It is stretchy like no man's business. It fits me. It's just that I just showered and lotioned so it was difficult to put on lotion legs. I'm gonna get my wax today and it's gonna be a headache to take this off and then put it back on. Oh my god. But I wanted to show it to you. I'm gonna link it. Amazon. It is so cute. Like you need this. I got it in brown and black. Love it. Oh my god! Don't get it. Don't get it. All right. Before I let go. I'm about to record. I decided to sit here because I don't sit here nearly enough, as much as I should, and I really just should, okay? Desk is from Ikea. Mirror is Amazon. I'll link it with the tripod as well. And this was offer up. I'll try and find a dupe in case you want it. And then I'll find a dupe for this couch because I know you're going to ask. But what I love about this is that on the side of it, you got an outlet, okay? So I got to charge my phone. This joint is dead, okay? And here we go. Where's it at? Okay, there we go. Praise the Lord. And then, of course, you turn it on and off over here. I turned it all the way up. We'll see how this looks. The sun is wicked bright behind me. And actually, that can help your other skincare products go on better and penetrate into the skin better. Uh, glycolic acid with long-term use also can help in boosting up collagen production. So this is a good ingredient for those of you who have been wanting to incorporate retinol for an anti-aging benefit. It achieves those kind of... I'm getting dressed today. Ideally, I would have been filming an actual tutorial of some sort, a video of some sort, a YouTube video. But as you can see, the sun is blasting through the my window. Having this huge window has a pro and a con to it. 
I like to face the window because I love to use a mixture of natural light and my LED lights, right? I have four of them that I use. I have six actually, but I don't use the other two, which I need to sell. What? Okay. My wax reservation is tomorrow. Yeah. What's the day? Or is it today? No, it's tomorrow. So the, the natural light is great for that. However, in the mornings like this, the sun is right in front of my window. Now, if the house were on the opposite side of the street, I wouldn't have this problem, but we're on this side. So this is a problem that I have based on where my office is. So in the mornings like this, I unless it's a gloomy, rainy day outside, I cannot film until maybe 12, which puts a huge dent in what I would like to do before 12 o'clock. So on days that I'm going to film, which is not every single day, on days that I'm going to film and this is the problem, then I have decided I'm going to do my makeup, do a basic look, not a look that I'm going to record or, or do my makeup, let's say for a reel or IG stories or here on the vlog, right? I'm not going to just waste my time. I need to multi-purpose this, this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then when the sun is the haven, I'll turn around and film other types of videos that are not tutorial based videos, you see? So that's how I have decided to go about my days like this so that I don't just waste my time. I don't have time to just waste like that. I explained in my IG story some time ago how these braids that I did are so great for hooking into the wig. Let me explain. So I used to braid my hair going back. And I, I have tried those suede headbands before, but they make the wig tighter and they were just, it was just annoying. It's just too much. It wasn't for me. You might, you might like those. I know they also have the rubber plastic ones that have the holes or the points. Uh oh, why did this get so dark? Bless his name. Okay. <laughs> I know they have those other rib, rib, the other one that have the little prickies basically. And then it's not prickly, but you know, the little pointy things. And then the wig sits on top. I had, I have them. I gave them away. It just, I didn't like it. Okay. So the other day I said, you know what, let me try and braid at least two braids in the front of my hair, as you see right now. And then I'll hook my wig into it. So the wig I wear or the wigs that I wear always have, oh no. Oh, it ripped. I always have two combs on it on the sides. And I used to just comb, clip it or comb it into my hair and then wear it. But see, it's pulling on the hair too much. Either way, it's going to pull on the hair. But I just want to pull on the hair as in the least. I want to pull on the hair the least amount. That doesn't make any sense. I want there to be a low amount of pulling. <laughs> Is that a good sentence? It's not. <laughs> okay, so... I did the two braids and I understand now why people braid, if they're doing a middle part, why they braid their hair going down. I didn't do all of it down because there was no need. I just did it, these two down and then I did two going back. I used to braid my hair real small and stuff. It's a waste of time. My hair is so long. The braiding is just, it's arduous. There's no need for all that, right? So I have the two braids now with the combs and the wig. You'll see when I put it on. I need this to dry first. I put the wig on and then I put the two combs underneath the braids so that there is no way on heaven in heaven or hell that my wig is going to slide back because it is hooked into a corn braid. Ain't nothing going to push back. And that is a game changer for me. <laughs> that is a game changer. I was like, why? Ah, what's going on? You ain't gonna do this to me all day. That's what I'm not gonna deal with, okay? That is what I'm not gonna deal with today. I'm watching be mad like, so stupid. <laughs> it's a game changer. I was like, wait, why have I not been doing this the whole time? Why have I been stressing myself with? <sighs> because the thing is, if I, when I lay my edges and then try to get the wig combs to hook into something, it's hooking into the hair that's left out. But why not just, the braid just works. I don't want to confuse you. Do the braid, okay? Do two braids going down. Doesn't matter what you do with the back, but obviously I comb wrote it to make it flat and like good. 
to the base in the front, baby. Now, what I have realized is I could have and should have, but no, 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 no. Because part of the reason why I wanted to do these braids was because I didn't want there to be a lot of my edge hair out, meaning it would be manipulated too much and cause more breakage. So no, what I was gonna say was, I was thinking to myself, why don't I put the braids back just like a centimeter? Because what's happening is when I put the wig on and it, and it sticks into the bottom of the braid, like underneath the braid, the wig is mad forward, like Batman forward, Batman pull up. It's like very forward, okay? So I find myself really trying to get it in so that I can push the wig back a little bit more comfortably. If you put your braid too far up, your wig gonna be on your eyebrows. And I don't do those kind of things, okay? You know, so yeah, where I have it is fine. Where I have it is fine, okay? And then I just gel that little spot like you saw. I tie it down like this. When it's dry, go ahead and throw the wig on and you're good to go. I have my outfit. I have my dress on. I'm not going with today. But I have really been into just dressing because, like, I used to get dressed to go to work. We have this discussion all the time. I used to, excuse me, I used to get dressed to go to work. You know what I'm saying? And why not? I'm working from home. Good night. Why am I getting a test? Oh, it's coming all late. You know, I got the update on my phone and my phone just looks so different now. FaceTime is a lot more clear. Did you get an update on your phone? Why am I getting all the watch be giving messages mad late? I'm annoyed. Hi. So yeah, that's how I do that. And then of course, you know, spray your hair with some leave-in conditioner, co-wash it every few days, do something to keep your hair hydrated. Yes, I wash my hair in the braids. If you've had single braids before, you may have washed your single braids as well. Go ahead, wash your cornrow, okay? It's the same situation. Look at that gray hair, praise him. Look at what he's doing. Look what the Lord has done, I can't. You know, there's two right there. Yeah, so go ahead and co-wash the this. I didn't co-wash it because I had been spraying leave-in in it and I'm like, let me just do a leave-in for a little bit and whatever. So yeah, you know, I really do enjoy that. I really do enjoy it. I pin curl, I curled, I curled my hair. You saw that. And then I pinned it. So these curls going to be very va-va-boom. Let me do my brows. I'm sitting here rambling my mouth. I do need to trim my, cut my brows. Okay, I'm getting microblading, right? And I don't even know how I'm going to handle it because you do have to like shave the area not like right we're being definitive you do have to shave the area around the microblading shading right this is gonna be quite quite a quite a new thing for me obviously i don't even know i just hope that they don't do i know you can tell them so i'm gonna tell them don't make it freaking dark i mean i like my brows to be pronounced in my when i do makeup but without makeup i don't freaking want a sharpie brow i do not like i am very comfortable <laughs> just like this without makeup we already know that i don't have an issue with it some of y'all do but praise the lord you know he's worthy even for you so i'm like i don't want to be looking crazy you know unidentifiable <laughs> i still want to be identifiable i need to go through this rack and clear some things out i have a lot okay i was sitting here thinking today lord Jesus. I do a lot of donation and I'm grateful to be able to donate, but I really want to be able to, I like, I really, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I need to find two women in Houston area because they're different suburbs and stuff. Two women in the Houston area, maybe three. And I just want to, like, you see, my privacy is important to me too. We've got to understand, right? I'm basically, a pub, I'm basically a public figure. I mean, for God's sake, I'm getting noticed more and more these days, which is a whole different topic because I don't know how to deal with it. I'm not used to this at all, right? So like that's that just is that, right? It's nice. I'm not saying it's, it's horrific, but it's very, very different for me. So my privacy is important, right? But I want to, I just want the Lord to bring up, bring about i know probably some of y'all gonna be like well i don't feel level and i know but i don't want to i mean i already um i'm trying to get my thoughts out i already incur a lot of fees from shipping giveaway items okay so i don't want this to be giveaway stuff because the boxes that i use are not that big to put clothes inside and shoes like no but because i shop so much for my job and i give away so much a lot of my stuff i'm like i i don't want to just give this to a random you know, foundation that's going to go resell it and upset whatever they, whatever they call those things. I want to put this in the hands of a woman, a battered woman, a, a a woman who's struggling for whatever reason, doesn't matter, okay? It, whatever reason, she's down and out and she can benefit from these gently used, sometimes brand new stuff that I just, I'm like, why did I buy this again? Like, I have so many things, it's like a lot. And I'm buying things every few months because I'm creating content with it, right? Like you can't just be wearing the same stuff. Talking about 
she ain't whole. And it's the same stuff from three months ago. Like, what? It ain't a whole. You didn't buy anything. You know what I'm saying? So I got to buy stuff to do my job, but I cannot keep everything. Hoarding is just not in my DNA. You saw my closet a few months ago fall down. Like London Bridge is falling down. Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. The whole thing fell down. Okay. Torched the whole thing. It all fell down. You see what I'm saying? It was way too heavy. So now I have a lot of my stuff in these tubs, which is fine. It's better. But I got a lot of stuff. I've never had this much stuff before. It's like too much. What in tarnation? Why are you doing that? Yeah, come back. That's annoying. So uh, not only am I grateful, but I just need to give. It just makes me feel better because I, 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 need, I need someone or people that are my size or around my size. You know, like I wear what? 14, I used to be a 12, 10, 10, 12, but <laughs> that ain't neither here nor there, okay? 14, 16, I get like a 20 from, six. I get like an 18, 20 from, but that's UK 20, isn't it? It doesn't matter. US 14, 16, because like, sometimes I like things to be oversized on purpose, it just looks better. US 14, 16, okay? Houston area, you know, size 9 and a half, 10. I buy 10 to be comfortable, I don't do that half anymore. Size 10 shoe or sneaker. You know, that is open to getting gently used things. This is nothing I'm going to publicize. This is nothing I'm going to vlog. I'm, oh, my God. Why are we doing this again? I'm not going to vlog these people. I'm not going to do any of that. I give away a lot of things, and I don't say anything about it because there's no need. That's not that's not how you get blessed from the Lord. You know, you just do it. Be it's between you and him. You know what I'm saying? You and him and that person. And and. It's, it's completely free. I'm not, uh, you know, I thought about the whole selling thing, but I ain't got that kind of time to manage it. You know, in the future, if I get assistance and we decide to go the, the resale route, you know, for real affordable prices, I don't see why not. But right now, I just want to give it away. I just want to get it off my hands. I just want to put it in the hands of someone that can really benefit from it. Not someone that got the money, baby. Okay. Someone that is really down and out and could use stuff that I got that is in good, if not brand new condition. You see what I'm saying? On a, on a, on an ongoing basis, like an ongoing basis, like every few months, like girl, I got a, I got a bag for you. You know, what's the deal? I don't know how I'm going to get it to the person. I guess I, I meet up with you. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, trust that, you know, you're not psychotic. You know, I just don't understand how else to say it. Like, yeah, like I hope y'all laughed. Don't message me. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Laugh. Okay. I'm just saying, okay, again, I got to protect my privacy. And, uh, but I also want to bless people and I, I I cannot be shipping these things. It'd be too heavy. And it would like defeat the whole purpose. Like I need to just give it to you for free. I cannot be like paying shipping. Like what? Sorry. So Houston area, what up? You know what I'm saying? Don't feel shy. Do, do not be embarrassed nor be shy. Because I know what it's like to be on food stamps and to be in overdraft and be in the negative. Wait. Okay. So if you're in the Houston area and you want me to be able to bless you, I want you to send me a DM. It's private. I'm not going to announce who you are. It's between you and me and the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, I did what I could. You know, I love to infuse music into all that I do because it really is at the foundation of who I am. You see what I'm saying? So praise the Lord. Make sure you let me know. Can't be too many of y'all because I don't have that much stuff. And I really want to be able to bless a person in abundance, right? I don't want to be like, oh, you get one shirt, you get one pair of shoes. And then that's, I really want to like, if you really, you just really, you know, you need work clothes, you need whatever. Stuff that I get that I just have in abundance, it can go to you, you know, some purses. <laughs> Not the designer though. But, but, you know, like good stuff. This stuff ain't got no holes in it and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can really, you can really get yourself going somewhere so that you can go to work and look nice. You know, you can go out and look nice. I really feel like because I come from humble beginnings, I really implore, I really, really implore 
people to really just don't feel bad about that. Please. Everyone has their own walk. I can't force you. Don't feel bad about that. Please. Oh my God. Like I could, I could cry right now. Oh my God. I'm not going to do it. Oh my God. I'm not going to do it. <sighs> wow. Why am I crying? Okay. All because I said, don't feel bad about that. Okay. Oh, uh, mm, 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 mm. don't. Wow. Okay. All right. This is not happening right now. Why is this happening? Okay. All I want to do is get ready. Yeah. I don't want anybody to feel bad about that. Okay. This is why. Uh, I also think it's okay to cry. Like, why do I have to subscribe to this notion that if I'm crying, I should force it back. I'm not going to force it back. Why should I suppress how I feel? I'm going to feel how I feel. And how I feel right now is very emotional and touched by this topic. Because <sighs> Oh Jesus. You know, the more you give, the more you get, right? That's number one. Number two, I haven't always had. I haven't always had in excess, you know? <laughs> I've been in overdraft a lot. And I know I'm not the only one. So I just always try to implore you, implore you, like whoever's watching this video, it's fun to go to fancy dinners. It's fun to buy bags. It's fun to travel. It's fun to have all these things. It's fun to shop. It is great. I am living a dream. But it's also really important to just understand how all of this can be taken away like this. So with that said, it's important that foundationally, you just, this, wow, this is taking a hold. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Okay, so foundationally, we should just be good people. And I just want to continue to try to be a good person. I got a lot of issues, okay? We all do, okay? This is not news. Don't idolize me. Do not idolize me. Do not idolize other people. You will get your heart broken. You will get your heart broken. Do not idolize me. Do not idolize other people. You will get your heart broken, okay? Just, just, I'm just, I'm just putting it like that. And then secondly, we got to give to other people. It's cute doing all this stuff. Excuse me. I'm going to. It's cute doing and having all this stuff. But, you know, I do think about other people who are struggling. Now, I don't like when I get those messages that I just feel in my heart are just spam. Like, just stop. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not about to be sending money over the over to over the coast, over the oceans. Like, just y'all stop, okay? It's just it's just too much, okay? <laughs> y'all be trying it. You know what I'm saying? People be not y'all. Let me not let me not attack you. People be trying it. It's too much. Like, please, you know. I really do what I can, but I'm not about to be sending money to doing different currencies and stuff. That's just too. I'm not doing that, okay? What am I getting at right now? That's what I'm getting at. If you in Houston, holla at your girl. And just know that it's all love. You don't even have to talk to me ever again. Girl, you can you can give me a fake name if you feel bad, okay? I really don't even care about that. I just care about trying to help someone in need. Don't feel bad. If you feel bad, you can meet me at a Kroger parking lot. And you can never see me again if that'll make you feel better. And I'm honestly very okay with that, too. I'm okay with making you feel okay. That's all. Oh, Lord. Bless his holy name. God, you are worthy. God, you've done it for me. Okay. All right. Well, 
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> you know, so. Mm. Anyway, he is worthy. He's always been worthy. What do I have? A, do I have a hand sanitizer? Let me hand sanitize my hands. Let me go and sanitize my hands. You know, because uh, hello, boogers. Hi, I do have wipes right here too. But... Oh my god! You know, I I don't subscribe to what is it? Imposter syndrome? But I don't believe. I don't know. I don't. Hmm, I don't know if that correlates to what I'm about to say. But you know, what you feel like? Oh no. Well, uh, <laughs> because I, all right, so I have a posture of, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy of what you've done for me, Lord, because honestly and truly none of us are worthy, right? <clears throat> because God is so holy, but alongside that, I am worthy because even in my brokenness, even when I completely lose it and curse someone out like a devil from hell right like just lose all of my lose all of my sense right and completely regret it later or hold on to pain or bitterness or whatever even when I do all of that God is still he's still faithful it's like even in the midst of all of that he's done so much for me and I don't it's not like I <laughs> behave in a way that I'm un that I'm not proud of, and then think, "Oh, well, I'm still going." What time is it? I got a meeting at eleven. Oh, I'm still going to get what I want from God. No, you know, I'm not getting everything that I want from God. <laughs> I have some prayers that have not been answered, but that's either here nor there. What I'm saying is, it's not like I'm thinking like, "Oh, well, I can do whatever I want," because either way, you know, the Lord gonna come through. No, I don't think that way either. But I just sit and think like, God, you know. <laughs> I'm not articulating my thoughts as clearly as I would like to right now, but I hope that somehow it sounds, it makes sense somehow. My face is dry. Okay. I'm going to use this SPF because I already have ser serums and a, did I put a, yes, I used the Black Girl sunscreen today. So I don't want to put on another moisturizer and then it break things up, but my face feels a little dry because I wiped it because I was crying. Okay, here, I'm going to just use this Super Group Glow Stick Sunscreen SPF, okay? Ah, oh, well, yeah, because my, my, around my nose is dry. Yeah, hello to you and good morning, okay? That, let's just, let's just go and leave it right there. Easy on Sandy has. I don't have anything else to say on the topic. <laughs> I really don't. Not right now, at least, but, uh, hey, hey, girl, what up? Listen, I, I just had to do a thing. I just had to use my laptop as a viewfinder to record because I was, or I still am, updating my desktop. First of all, let's talk about this new iOS. I updated my phone to whatever the new version is. Then I was trying to airdrop a reel from my laptop to my phone and was experiencing difficulties. It was saying airdrop cannot be done, save file to iCloud instead, but then it wouldn't save file to iCloud. I upgraded my iCloud for no reason, contacted Apple support via text message, which was really easy and helpful. They told me to update my laptop, which I did and it still wouldn't work and i restarted all this stuff whatever so now it works right so it was the update it the updates might not have been compatible girl i don't know so then i realized that my desktop also needs an update <laughs> uh this thing is taking forever so thank god i have this dolly thing that i plug into my macbook because it has a c portal c drive portal whatever and then I connected my USB. So I used my laptop as a viewfinder. It was so odd looking down to make sure that the sound was on and that I was in focus. Girl, it was just odd. But thank God I had that, okay? Because I don't know. I wouldn't have been able to film today. Because I wanted to film earlier. But the way the sun sets in my window, it restricts me at certain times in the morning. And anyway, so I, I was able to film one video just now. Oh, I want to show you some things that I got from Amazon, okay? So I mentioned before the strapless bras that I wear. 
from Amazon. I wear 36D, okay? It's not padded. If you want padding, this is not it. I'm sure they have padding options, but this one is not padded. I don't need padding. I don't I don't want to be I don't want my titties to be on my neck now. You know what I'm saying? But this is it and I what I love is the lining of it. So it I don't ever experience this sliding down. It's really really good. So this is the bra. I have two. I have the brown one and then the black one. I bought them at the beginning of the other pandemic. So it's been two years, a year and a half now, and I needed to get another one. I didn't get the chocolate. Maybe it was because they were out. I don't recall. I don't know why I didn't get the chocolate. And this does have straps, but I like to just know that my strapless bras are my strapless bras, and then my strapped bra is my strapped bra. I don't, I don't, I don't ever do the interchanging of straps. Do you do that? Comment and let me know, girl. You know, I used to buy my bras from Victoria's Secret, but then once we started doing quarantine, I was like, let me go on Amazon. And I tried it and I like it. So I'm like, why? It's easy. Why not? So there's that. And then I saw Fumi Ford talking about these Spanx from Amazon. And I had a pair of Spanx from way back in the day from Nordstrom. Them things are tight. Because back in the day, I was not as curvaceous as I am right now I mean I've always been curvy girl I wasn't as thick okay that one is mad tight but this is not the same kind of Spanx this one is more like you need shorts underneath your dress so that when you're walking your butt cheeks ain't showing kind of a Spanx it's not the same one as what I have and I liked it because this is brown it's more ashy clearly more neutral but that's fine so it I looks like it let me move this cup it does have some abdomen abdominal compression aspects of it he, geez it's gonna fit me what did i get oh but you know it might fit when i stretch it in this is a where's the where's the size what did i get what's his name i like how it's brown i feel so sick because of my period oh okay this is xl chestnut brown all right dang it'd be looking mad small but it's gonna fit once i stretch my body into it what okay then we have the thigh okay because you know i'd be liking to wear shorts under my dresses because i don't be oh i like how this it goes up so like the v on top of the booty so the booty can sit right here and then you have the legs here is here's the whole entire thing not too not too long nice and short the leg part about it does get a little thick so maybe to compress the thigh a little bit interest interest i'm excited about this I, I love the idea of having a brown short instead of black because if it if the dress rises up it don't need to be so obvious that I have shorts on my first pair of brown shorts as an undergarment that I'm wearing and then I'm actually about to do a an an Amazon workout try and haul video I have some Amazon I have I have six <laughs> different Amazon workouts that I want to workout outfits I want to show you and then I recently grabbed this one I have it in black I wore it already on Saturday in fact I forgot to post it on IG because my Saturday was so busy I just could not think straight and then I got this brown but this brown is looking more like a it's very this is a very warm excuse me this is a very cool brown it's very red but I think it still complements brown skin. It's giving auburn, okay? It's giving auburn. It's giving like chestnut lip liner, but with more red in it. I don't hate it, you know, the color, but the actual suction power of this gym set, girl, forget it. I'm going to link all this stuff here, and you going to see the video when I do it. That joint, that gym outfit, it is it's sucking the kid in now. But uh, what's annoying is I feel a little bit bloated because I'm on my period now. And I'm like, oh, I'm about to film this. I was, yesterday I wanted to film it, but I had eaten. And once I ate, I was like, I can't be, my stomach ain't going to cooperate in these outfits. I'm about to film this, this uh, what's it called, you know, outfit type video. But I, I, need, I need to do it today. So it has to happen today, regardless. Who's texting me? <laughs> So yeah, it has to happen today. And that's what I wanted to show you. Oh, and I also got a camera, excuse me, a remote for my Canon because I have several remotes that I use for my phone when I'm standing away from it and need to record. But I'd never had one for the Canon. I do want to take my camera around my house more and film in different settings because it's just fun and just different. 
but it will be annoying to have, you know, anyway, whatever. So I got the camera for the Canon, baby. I'm gonna link this below. I've seen people use it to take their own pictures. You know, I don't take my own pictures with my big body camera. I have a photographer, but if I ever needed to, wanted to, now I have this. I don't know how to use it quite yet. I'm a YouTube it or read the instructions, but who wants to read instructions when you can just watch a YouTube video? Lots of tech people telling us how to do things these days. I don't wanna read. I do like to read. Let me not let me not mislead you. I just don't want to read these instructions. It's annoying. I don't read instructions. I'm the kind of person, something comes in, I start fixing it. I don't read anything until I get stuck. Then I go and read to see what I missed. That's just me. What do you normally do? Let me know because I, I just jump in head first. That's just my personality. Is there something else I wanted to show you? I mean, I got some, whoops, some products in and things, but uh, I haven't used them yet. Yeah. So come like the wind, come like the rain, come like the fire, we're ready, we're ready. Apple Advisor. Apple is happy to offer a choice of music while you wait. For a selection of modern popular music, press 1. For classical, 2. For jazz, 3. My computer, my desktop, hasn't been working for about three days now. I went to update it, and I regret that I even tried to update it because... I've been trying a lot of different things. Yo, computer problems? Thank the Lord Jehovah that I have two computers. I have my desktop and I have my laptop. I praise the Lord Jehovah because the way my computer has been giving me trouble the past several days, I can't even imagine it. What was I, what, what, what would I have done? Like what? Wow. So like I said, I was downloading Mac Big Sur. What? OS Big Sur? It's too many. Oh, I just can't. ABC DFG. And it kept getting stuck. The progress bar wasn't progressing. And I've been on a phone with Mac so many times. And actually, I love the customer service. I Apple, excuse me. I love the customer service. I have the app on my phone. And all you do is go into it, select the device you're having an issue with, and press the, the main topic. And then you can select for them to call you. You can, you, can, you can do text. But I'm glad I do the phone call. It's just easier that way. And they call within like 30 seconds. It's really great. And you're not having to wait and do all this automated, you know, robots and stuff. No, it's like a person. So I love that. I got to say that. That's fantastic. I love that. Wow. Just got a little bit dim outside. So I've been on the phone with these folks for the past several days, honey. This thing looks like it's doing something and it ain't doing nothing. So I've been using my, I, I, I always use both, right? I always multitask with both. But then I filmed yesterday with my laptop, which was pretty fine. It was fine, you know? No, two days ago, my laptop. It's fine, but it's like, what in tarnation? This is sick. I have my vlog on the Mac, iMac. Now, I do use an external drive, which we have talked about before. All data is in my, excuse me, all the products are in my Amazon store for in the tech section. I do use an external drive. I have two of them, actually. Thank God, because part of fixing this was I needed to erase the external drive. And if I didn't have a backup, it would have had to erase everything and thank god i do not i don't put stuff on my desktop i only use my external drive so the desktop it had like 15 gigs of whatever on there deleted it and now <clears throat> this is supposed to work so by golly miss molly thank god i don't be backing up the computer there's just no point girl listen i can't so i'm like oh what do you mean I need to be able to edit my vlog. Not this one, the one before this one. I need to be able to edit it. Like what's going on? I suppose I could connect my external to my MacBook, but it's gonna make the MacBook run so slowly because I have a lot of tabs open. I'm doing a lot of other things on here. That's why, because my vlog is such a large file, I only edit my vlog on the desktop. I no longer edit on the MacBook. I stopped doing that months ago. And I only do a few things on the desktop because editing a vlog is just a lot. Even though I'm using external, it takes a lot from the CPU. <laughs> you know, sounds a little bandly. It takes a lot from it, you know, so. The fewer things you do on the device you're using to edit a video such as that, the better. I, I don't like when it's delayed and slow and all this foolishness. So I might, yeah, I don't, I don't do much on the, on the desktop except that. Maybe check email, but I, I use, I do everything else on my MacBook. So it's just great. It's just a huge, a huge help to have both. Any entrepreneurs out there, YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Yeah. 
having both is clutch. And besides, I can always take this with me elsewhere. It's just, it's it's important. You know, I can be in the bed, doing things, what have you. Anywho, this is saying an album in 37 minutes. We gonna see. I'm a little irritated and turned off by Mac Big Sur. Mm -hmm. Hi. I did my basic makeup look today. Mm -hmm. I sat at my vanity. You know, it, it's cute. I love that little. I don't sit there often. So it's the second time this week that I've sat there. I'm really proud of myself. I've been, I've been decorating. I'm going to show you once I've gotten to a place that I'm happy with. Oh, did I show you? I did show you, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting on a table. It's coming today from Wayfair. It's going to be so cute. You know, and I need to open up some packages, but they're not pressing. What is pressing is I, I want to post. Did you see? Did she work me? No. Oh. Did you see my reel? <laughs> Hello. Like, I've been trying new things. Yo, <laughs> Jacqueline Hill posted this thing, this mirror that she has on her visor. I'm irritated. I bought it because it's mad cute. Why not? Pull down the visor and here you have a lit mirror. You know the visor does have a little light to it, but it's not enough. This one is a, basically a rectangle light with a mirror. It's mad cute. It looks mad cute. <laughs> I bought it, Amazon, and then I bought these hooks, you know what I'm saying, to hook onto the, the chair so I can hang. I like to keep my car organized, okay? And I was at Target yesterday. I found these little cup holders. They're not cups, but they're little trays. It fits right into the armrest. And then I have my stuff in there. I have two. So my armrest is really organized. I hate rifling through a filthy, ridiculously packed armrest. It is insanely annoying. When you're trying to find like tweezers to pluck your chin hair at the traffic light. <laughs> I be doing that. You know what I'm saying? I be getting the chin hairs to get on my nerves. I don't have a lot, but I got a few. I know you got a few too. I like to pluck them because I don't like to just leave stuff like that. That annoys me. I get really annoyed and you don't want me to be annoyed, do you? <laughs> I can't do it, you know? Oh, boba tea. Why is Amazon showing me boba tea? They're annoying. Hi. I bought these headphones too. I don't really be needing some of the stuff. I don't, it's not a need, you know. It's not a necessity. It's a desire, you know. It's not a necessity. It's a desire. This is cute. This is a cute little plant, planter, plant pot. That's cute. You know, I'm changing up the color scheme of the crib. You know what I'm saying? Going away from all the black and the white. Ooh, we got a little dark, hi. Huh? Going away from the black and the white, moving more into light neutrals. It just makes me so happy. It's a new change. Dang, this planter is 124. Hi. You, you, you charge a lot for a planter. <laughs> okay, so I need to do a few things. Oh, I was at Target and I found this. I found a few things, actually. Quest. Muffin, blueberry muffin things. I actually thought that these were muffins in here. They're not. It's a bar. You know, it it's 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 giving healthy. You know, it's not giving. Uh, I'm not saying it's dry, but you know they have those moist muffins that kids eat for snack. Ah, the blueberry ones that are so moist. The little minis. Ooh. It ain't giving that. And when I saw the picture, I thought that's what it was given. That ain't even what it's given. The picture even shows some sugar crystals. Yo, they got me with the picture, though. You know what I'm saying? This does taste good, but it's given healthy. You know, when something is, like, intentionally mad healthy, yeah, that's what it's given, you know. <laughs> it ain't gross. It is good. But the bar is too big. I wish it was, I wish it was smaller. What? Oh. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, oh, empties. Let me show you some empties, okay? This is from 107. I've had this for quite some time. I finished it finally. It was a spray, what? Dewy Glow Serum Mist. Enjoyed that. First A Beauty Ultra Repair, excuse me, here. First A Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is really good. Use it over the body and or on the face. Nice, absorbs quickly, doesn't leave you greasy if that's your vibe. Good one there. Excuse me, fresh rose intense hydration. I can't read it. Deep hydration, sleeping mask. 
this is really good I liked that it was duo sided dual duo you know okay you have the serum and then you had the moisturizer on this side I enjoyed using this this is a, this is a nice heavy glass too and then I had this in my drawer here in the office Sunday Riley ice was that in case of emergency? I never found that out. But you know what ice means when you put a phone number in your phone, it's your ice number. It's your in case in case of emergency number. This is the Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. Very fragrant. I enjoy the fragrance. Did not irritate me at all. And very, very hydrating. You know, ceramides are really great when you want to restore the skin's barrier, skin's moisture barrier. Moisture barrier is basically like a door for your house keep the good things in the bad things out you want moisture barrier is keeping moisture in your skin if your skin's moisture barrier is impaired if there's a crack in it right we're using the the metaphor of the door or the window then you're not going to retain as much moisture in your skin as you may like or as you need actually right we, we shouldn't be out here dry so yeah that's a good moisturizer i enjoyed it and then this remember i talked to you about this a while ago. I really enjoyed this. Coco Kind Oil to Milk Cleanser. I was trying to figure out when to use this. I didn't like it as a cleanser. I think I told you this to wash off my makeup. I enjoyed it as a cleansing oil of some sort. It is very unique. I don't have any more in here to show you but it was very unique. It almost felt like a Vaseline when I squeezed it out. Like it looked like a Vaseline, the texture, like it was just like sitting there. And then I would rub it onto my hand, onto my face, and it just looked like an oil. And then you get water and then you rub and it emulsifies. So I didn't like it unless I was taking off makeup because it, it did, it functioned as a cleansing balm a lot better than let's say I want to just wash my face. It felt like it wasn't getting off what I needed to get off. It's a hydrating cleanser that gently cleanses skin while the fermented oat complex helps to better defend skin from external stressors and barrier function. I mean, this is extremely hydrating. It says to wet, well, excuse me, use with damp hands, massage cleanser onto dry skin, create a milky wash, and then rinse off. Yeah, so to me, this is more of a cleansing balm. And then I would use a cleanser, one that was more stripping but in a good way i would use that afterward because this just felt like did i just cleanse or did i just put lotion on i mean but it's a good thing it's just i was like uh i need to wash again after this but if you're really dry and you don't do makeup a lot or you plan on using this without makeup and your skin is really dry you're gonna enjoy this because it's a cleanser and it's gentle it is a hydrating cleanser it's giving you hydration it's true because i would wash my face and i would feel like there's something still left on my face well that's the point it's a hydrating cleanser it, it, it is very very interesting i enjoyed it i was like this is so strange i've never tried anything like this i enjoyed it dry skin thirsty skin dehydrated skin all of that you need to get yourself some Coco Kinds Oil to Milk Cleanser. This stuff is just so intriguing. It's very, very intriguing. This was sent to me. I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>